Guys, first day of school. I hope no one looks at me. No, I'm with Eric though. <laughs> Chill, Eric, move out of the way. <laughs> it's an official farm. Grace is in here, Maria, you left. Um, Eric's here, he's like the only person that's with me. I just fell asleep. It's Tuesday. Come in. Vlogging for Grace and Maria. Oh, really? I want <coughs> No, get your own. There's one downstairs. Hi, guys. <laughs> Don't make your face. <laughs> You're good. <gasps> okay, bye. Thanks. It's just spaghetti. I wanted to show you. So good. Grace, you showed me your wisdom teeth and I was eating. I was like... Your breath stinks. And I'm trying to eat my donut. Hi, <laughs> Leon. One. Two, three. Happy birthday, dear mommy. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Woo! Light your candle, make a wish. Go. Ah! Can't pull it out. <laughs> oh, it blew out. Great. Yeah. <laughs> Otra cosa que notamos es que la pendiente tiene que ser negativa. Negativa. Ahora, nos queda B o D. Hey guys. Oh. It's Saturday. This day I'm supposed to be posting and I'm laying on my bed. I decided to film today because, like right now, because I don't really have any content. Because it's Costa Rica. But I wanted to tell you guys, yesterday, I hung out with M. Fug. <laughs> I hung out with Fug, Daniel, and a friend of them. There's a, it's called Emma. Super nice guy. Sweetest guy in the world. He's so funny as well. And um, it was nice. You know? I woke up this morning with such bad anxiety. I don't understand. I don't know if you guys understand it. It's like, I woke up and then I, I I felt like my heart didn't stop beating and it was hard for me to breathe and I didn't understand why. So I try to calm myself down, you know. And, um, sorry if this is boring that I just needed to get off my chest because I like talking about it. It makes me feel better. Well, I was trying to calm myself down because it was it was pretty bad. And it usually happens over the weekend because I'm not distracting myself. I'm not doing shit. I think it was because yesterday I felt I felt happy. So today is like a force to be sad. I don't understand. It's, my body's weird and my mind's weird. So yeah. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys. Yesterday I was talking to them about sleep paralysis. You guys know what that is. And um, this morning, this morning was fucking weird. I woke up and I, and I, I woke up like this, but I was, I was still sleeping. I just, I don't understand what I was doing. I just opened my eyes and I heard someone coming up the stairs and the door opened. Well, I don't know if it was just me, but the door opened and someone came in, talked to me and then they left. And and that I couldn't move, like I I was still I was conscious that there was someone in, but I I couldn't say anything. I couldn't move, and then they left and closed the door. I fell asleep because I was fucking scared, and when I woke up, my room was normal. There was nothing. It was fucking creepy. And I think that was an episode of sleep paralysis because it, it was never been that. That weird, but I didn't really pay attention to it because I was really sleepy. I was really sleepy. I was super tired. 
I got home like around double chin. I got home like around one because I was with them. I think what calmed me down is that I I got a message from fuck. I don't know. It's it's just weird. It's not like he calms me down. It's, I think it's just the feeling of having someone there. And I know you guys are there, obviously, of course. But I'm saying someone that I don't really talk to. Well, I mean, I talk to him a lot, but you know what I mean. Someone that I'm not really close to. I know this is going to sound really weird, but what I like about being with him is just his ring. Because <laughs> whenever he gives me his hand, I like to swing his ring. It calms me down. I don't know why. I should get a ring. <laughs> Honestly, I'm sorry, but he's not gonna find anyone better than me. Cause I'm so nice to him. I cheated at him so much, and I think he knows that. Actually, I don't know if he knows that, but I hope he will. I hope he does. And I want to spend Valentine's with him, but no. He posted a tweet that said like, um, another 14, like uh, February 14, not worrying about. Not have to worry about buy a gift or something like that. And great, I want to cry. And I was like, bitch, what about me? Fuck you. <laughs>